kind of sock combination do you guys use these days? Well, for me, it depends on the boot. And the boot that I've been wearing recently, because it's been colder up here, and I've got it fitted to me to wear two medium weight pairs of socks. And that's just because of the fit for the boot. And it keeps me warmer uh, on colder conditions. So you have two medium socks on right now? Two medium Pull weight pair of socks. Up. Yep. Okay. See? And that's different than most people. This is what I do and it, it works for me. Are you a liner guy? I'm not a liner guy. I don't like the liner. The liner is irrelevant. You seem angry about that. No. <laughs> How about you? Is it liners or not? Uh, I don't use liners, and the sock I do pick depends a little bit on um, where I'm climbing exactly how cold it is. And I find that it's almost always better for me to use a more of a lightweight hiking sock, and that way my foot doesn't get wet from sweat and then cold for the rest of the day. So I'll go with little cold toes early on, but then not too sweaty. Um, and when I'm climbing in really cold conditions, I'll go with a heavyweight insulated sock. So you're wearing a single leather boot like I am yep. uh, today. Um, so bigger, more insulated boot, you go with more sock? I usually do. I try to like incrementally increase my uh, insulation. So if my boot needs more insulation, I think my socks usually do too. That's pretty much the way I uh, work it too today. I've just got kind of actually lightweight. Um, sock that fits perfectly with this boot. I'm not too worried about warmth up here. It's more kind of a fit thing, but still for me, just a single sock. Single sock. Everybody's different, you know. We're not judging you for wearing two socks. Thank you. <laughs>